Have you ever shot a video and it sounded horrible because of background noise like wind, traffic, maybe a fan or an air conditioner? Hey, can you stop this? Well, maybe you can't get your sound to sound quite this good. One trick is to actually re-record in post-production. But if you can't do that, I'm going to show you a quick trick to clean up your sound using a free program called Audacity. Audacity is a free open source program. To make sure that you download a copy that doesn't have a lot of other junk on it, make sure that you download Audacity from the SourceForge.net website. Audacity can't work wonders and it has a hard time cleaning up inconsistent sound like wind and some outdoor noises. So I'm going to take this video of my cat Sappho eating to make things a little bit more interesting. And to make things a bit tougher for Audacity, I've got this fan going. And that's a really nice consistent sound that Audacity will have a pretty easy time cleaning up. I'm using a Zoom external recorder because it'll give me a little cleaner sound than I would get with just my camera. And I'll sync up the sounds in post-production. We're going to use the sound from our video. Now we're going to need to get that sound file into Audacity. I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro. So to do that, we just want to bring whatever video we want to fix the sound on into our timeline. We want to export our video as just a sound file. We want to go up into format and we're either going to want to use the MP3 format or the waveform audio format. I'm going to use the WAV file since that gives me better audio. And you'll find the sound takes a lot less time to export than video does. Now that we've saved our sound file, we want to open Audacity. Okay, when you open Audacity, a dialog box will come up. And let's click on the manual because I'm going to show you a couple of things in that later. And we can reduce that for now. Click OK. And let's bring in our sound file. What we want to do is remove the background noise. The background noise is going to be one of these nice flat areas in here. We can select a little area in here. We can listen to it to make sure that there's no voice. We want to go up into Effect, Noise Removal. We can fool with the sliders a bit if we want. But if you want to learn a little bit more about the settings, you can go to your manual that I had you open before. Go to Effects look for noise removal. It'll give you the default settings in here and it'll tell you how all of these sliders work. So let's close that out again. What we want to do first is get our noise profile. We want to select a fairly small area to do your noise profile and it's got to be in that flat area that has no voice. So we'll do get noise profile. Now we'll deselect. We want to select the whole audio file. So we can do that by going up to edit, select, all. Now we just go up to effect again, noise removal. We can preview how our noise removal sounds. Audacity can't work wonders and it has a hard time cleaning up inconsistent sound like wind. That sounded pretty good to me. Usually you want to fool with these top two sliders and leave the bottom two alone. So I'm going to hit OK. And now in order to get our corrected file back into our timeline, we want to export the file. We don't simply save it. We need to export it just like we have to export our video from Adobe Premiere Pro. So go to Export Audio. I'm going to call it Sound from Shoot Fix. It's saved. I'll close out Audacity. I don't want to save this file because in case I want to come back and fix things, I want to be able to use my original file. Now we'll go back to Adobe Premiere. We'll import our fixed audio. And it's really easy to line up our sound with this because it's exactly the same length as our original project. So we just bring down our sound. You can see it lines up with it perfectly. And we can either get rid of our original sound or we can just mute our original sound. We're done. Now we just need to export our video with our new and improved sound.